Let's look at part B. The diagram below shows a triangle OPQ. OPQ, right? It says state the coordinates of the point Q. The coordinates of the point Q. Well, in this case, I would say that Q is 4, 1. That's because you have um, X along the X axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's located above 4. And on the Y axis, you go up 1. It's located beside the 1, so it's 4, 1. So that's 4, 1. That would be the coordinates of the of Q. All right. Now, let's look at the next part of the question. The line PQ is mapped onto P double prime, no, onto P prime, Q prime. The line PQ, which line is that? PQ is mapped onto P prime, Q prime by an enlargement. Center O, scale factor three. The center is O, the scale factor is three. On the diagram above, draw the line P, prime q prime so pq is mapped by an enlargement center o scale factor three let's look at what that is about the center is o and the scale factor is three p prime q prime now it seems as if what you're going to have to do you locate O, right? Since it's the, cent the center is O, P is going to be mapped onto P prime. So you go through P, that's one unit. This will be double and then triple. Let me use a thinner line. From O through P, double the length, triple the length. So that what you're going to have is that, um, well, this probably should go straight through it, through P. But what you're going to have yeah, this line will go straight through P, you know. Let me try again. Make it um, a little neater. Okay, good. So, this is O, P prime. And P prime would be here. What happened? The line O to P prime is three times longer than the line O to P. So while P prime is above two, P uh, while P is above two, P prime will be above six. Six is three times two. So that's P prime. Now what about um the line? It said Q prime. That's what it said. Let's look at it again. Q prime, right? Q prime. Center is O, so you start from O. Oh no. All right. The center is O, so you start from O and draw a line through Q. It's above four, but since it's three times longer, it should end up above twelve. Twelve is three times longer than four. So you go through and 
the line ends up above 12 so that Q prime will be above 12 so that's Q prime all right so the line pre prime Q prime would be this line then so that's the line P prime Q prime all right center is O so everything all the lines to get it radiate from O and the scale factor is 3 so in this case P prime Q prime would be 3 times longer than PQ all right so if you go from P prime to Q prime straight across you cover 2 from P from P to Q you go under P and end up at Q you would cover two units here under P prime and go on to Q prime you would cover one two three four five six six units and three six is three times longer than two so that's what you that's what you would get now let's look at the third part of this question right triangle OPQ undergoes a reflection in the line y equals zero you know what the line y equals zero is it's the x-axis it does that to produce OPQ all double primes on the diagram above draw the triangle OPQ all double primes all right so this triangle is reflected in the x-axis now this is the x-axis O is lying right on the x-axis so you won't have it reflected there now P is 2 above the x-axis so what you will have is P will fall from here and come down to two above the x-axis so p double prime would end up right here q is one unit above the x-axis if it's been reflected in the x-axis it would end up one unit below so in that case Q double prime would end up here O double prime would be lying right on O because it's already lying on the x-axis the mirror line so if we join O double prime to P double prime and then to Q double prime right here and close the triangle this is what we get so it's a reflection in the x-axis all right so that's what they asked for okay so that is this part of the question completed we're going to continue with more questions later